At the U.S. National Tennis Center in Flushing Meadows, Queens, the Big East Tournament comes to the headquarters for tennis in this country. In the women's bracket, DePaul, nationally ranked and the top seed, expected to be in the finals. However, number three, Xavier, a 4-3 upset of Marquette in the semifinals to reach the championship round. Would they have one more upset in them? Hi everyone, I'm Pat O'Keefe and welcome to our coverage of the Big East Tennis Championships. The head coaches, Mark Artizone of DePaul and Eric Toth of Xavier, each trying to lead his women's team into the NCAA tournament. We spoke with both head coaches as Championship Sunday got underway. It's Championship Sunday here, coming off a really thrilling 4-3 win in the semifinals, a 6 hour and 15 minute marathon. And how tough is the quick turnaround to come back out here the next morning for the championship? This was a match in February, very tough, but today, not tough at all. This is what we've worked for all year, and our girls will be ready to go. Take me through kind of the emotions of that semifinal match. Rain pushing you indoors, having to do it on three courts, so much emotion and intensity throughout. Just kind of take me through the afternoon. You know, I think it was probably even more emotion just because we were on three courts and the match did take so long. But, I mean, that's what you expect this time of year. I mean, conference championships, it just boils down to playing well, being opportunistic, and being lucky. All three things happened for Xavier yesterday, and that's why we're here today. Here we are, Championship Sunday, getting ready to play Xavier. Your team has performed very well the first two rounds. How happy are you with the way your team has uh, gone out there? You know, I, I'm really pleased. I mean, I think we've really done a great job in the doubles both days and, and got off to good starts. And, uh, you know, quite honestly, we were a little nervous in the first day, a little bit nervous yesterday, but we kind of got through it. And I think that's the important thing. And getting ready for a match like this will be really, really good for us just because we've got through those jitters, I hope. Coming off a great regular season like your team had, coming into a tournament like this as the number one seed, obviously everybody is gunning for you. How much additional pressure does that add to your team? You know, I think it's it's interesting for us because we've, in this league for a lot of years we've been the hunter and not the hunted and uh, now we're the hunted and it's a just you know I think we've kind of grown to like it a little bit you know everyone's coming after us and we're we're excited that it's here you know we you got to accept that that means you're good <laughs> that means you're good if everyone's gunning for you. Tough task for Alex Brinker and Sydney Lingens of Xavier taking on the number one doubles pair of DePaul the dynamic Anna Vladutu and Patricia Fargus and here's Vladutu serving for the match and the Blue Demons pair makes Quick work to start the morning off on the right foot. An eight to one victory. A dynamic, dominant performance from start to finish for Vladutu and Fargus. And here with Anna Vladutu, Patricia Fargus, wrapping up a nice tidy 8-1 win in first doubles. And Patricia, how important is it to get your team off to a good start in this match? I think it's um, it's very important, it's vital basically because there's a lot of pressure. We are the number one seed so clearly if we, you know, we give them no hope, um, it's going to be beneficial for us in the long run. So I think it's it's very important that we won 8-1 and you know, to cheer on our teammates now and stuff so yeah, very happy. <laughs> and Anna, 8-1 means not a long match, get to rest a little bit for your singles, how important is that for the rest of the day? It's very important. I mean, we this is was this was one of our goals to have a good start in the beginning, and we set these goals also for singles. And now it's good for us because we get to cheer for our teammates, and hopefully we're gonna win the doubles point and we're gonna be ready for singles. Ali Wessling and Andrea Wolf looking to keep Xavier alive for that doubles point. Third doubles against Zaina Sufi and Rebecca Mitrier. But the DePaul pair, very strong throughout. Here's Mitrier for the match, and she ends it on an ace. An 8-3 to three final for the Blue Demons, and they start the morning off with the doubles point. Victories in first and third doubles. To get this point out of the way and to start the morning off on a good note, how does that feel? Uh, it feels great. I mean, it's always great to get the doubles point because you have some momentum going into singles, and I think it just gets us all pumped up and more excited to keep it going. So. Rebecca, this was a tight match, about three games into it, and then you guys seemed to seize control. What did you do differently in the latter part of this match to take control of it? Um, we were more focused, I think. We were known for having a little bit of a slow start, but then we, we got really focused and uh, we did what we had to do. But our work is not done, definitely. <laughs> so DePaul begins the single session with a one nothing lead. Playing sixth singles, it's Rebecca Mitrier coming in with a record of 19-2 and two on the season, taking on Xavier's Lizzie Oosterbahn. 
Mitrie stormed through the first set, winning that 6-2. Second set a bit tighter. Oosterbahn putting up a fight late. However, Mitrie able to survive. She wins the point in straight sets, 6-2, 7-5. In second singles, Patricia Fargus and Alex Brinker meeting for the second time on the day. Fargus helped beat her in first doubles earlier in the morning. And here's match point. Fargus just too much to handle. Brinker sends it long. Patricia Fargus, a 6-1, 6-3 victory. Here's match point again. Fargus, the strong backhand. Brinker's forehand just too long. And Patricia Fargus helps DePaul jump out to a commanding 3-0 lead, one match away from the Big East Championship. The best match of the singles competition, Andrea Wolf of Xavier against DePaul's Zaina Sufi. Fifth singles, these two split the first two sets. Sufi won the first 6-3, Wolf the second, 6-2. Here's Wolf trying to keep Xavier alive, but she sends it into the net on match point, and that ends the competition in the Big East Championship. You see it again, Sufi, the backhand return. Wolf sends it back into the net, and the Blue Demons teammates all converge on court number 15 with Zayna Sufi after her 6-3, 2-6, 6-1 win, celebrating DePaul's first ever Big East Championship. With a championship winning coach from DePaul, Mark Artizone, first Big East Championship. First off, coach, congratulations. Thank you very much. It's really great to win our first one and kind of hope it's one of many, but it's always great to get that first one. Obviously, this had to be a goal of yours from the start of the season, a highly ranked team, to kind of see it all the way through, culminating in this championship today. How does that feel for you and your players? Well, it's great. I mean, the girls make our goals, and, and it's so unbelievable that if you look down on these seven goals that are hanging in my office, every one of them was met. And uh, the last one was win the Big East, and actually the last one is actually make the NCAs, which is right there. So it's just such a great thing to know all the hard work paid off, and, and they did the work. <laughs> Let's talk about uh, today's match against Xavier, and it started in doubles. Uh, you won the first two, and you were leading in the third one also. How important was it to get off to that kind of a start? It, it was great. I mean, we have actually, we work on doubles so much, and we were unbelievably dominant here. I think we only lost about five, six games all weekend in doubles, which really set the tone for all our matches and it really gave us a good start and gives you that momentum going into the singles so now one of the strengths of your team is your four through six singles players you said that and that certainly held true today as well yeah i mean it's just been all year i you know we only have six healthy kids so it's been amazing that every kid has played every match and i think they've only lost about seven matches but those kids you know the the top kids get a lot of the headlines they get their picture on the they're in the national rankings but in tennis you need to win at four and six to win and that's why we're a good team that's why we're a real good team because our four through six get it done but one of those top kids did have quite a day patricia Fargus, uh, you know, dominant in the doubles and then dominant in the singles as well. Talk about her performance. She is just, she's a warrior. I mean, she's probably my luckiest recruit ever that I, you know, didn't really watch her a whole lot. And, and uh, but she just brings the energy every day. I mean, every single match, she's, uh, her spirit just brings through. And we're kind of a, a quiet team. We're not real boisterous. And she actually brings that up for all of us. But she leads us, even though she's, Kelsey's our senior, but Patricia is our leader spiritually. So with the pulse off. Sophomore Zaina Sufi, Big East champions are the Blue Demons, and uh, thanks to your match in fifth singles, you were the one who clinched the school's first ever Big East championship. What did that moment feel like? It was amazing. I mean, as soon as I got up 5-1, and I kind of looked around, and some of the other matches were close, and I was just thinking how amazing it was that we were in this position, and then that kind of just brought me through the game. I rolled through that game, and at the end, I was just so happy. Couldn't contain myself. It's an amazing feeling. And, and then for your teammates to come from all courts here at the yeah. National Tennis Center to join you for that celebration, what is that like? It's the best feeling in the world. I don't think there's a better feeling than knowing that you won a match for your team and then having them all come out and just knowing that they're there supporting you and you can do that for everyone on the team. You come here as the number one seed, top team in the conference, everybody obviously gunning for you to kind of withstand that type of pressure and put forth really a dominant performance this weekend. What does that mean to you and your teammates? I mean, I think it means the world to us. This is the first ever Big East Championship that we've ever won, but it's also the first time that we've ever been the one seed. So I think going in with that feeling was really new for us. We weren't really sure how we'd handle the pressure, but at the same time, having the opportunity to win the first 
Big East championship for our school was, you know, it was a big deal for us. So I think we handled the pressure well and kind of took it as a new chance for us to start something new. And with DePaul's Patricia Vargas celebrating the school's first ever Big East championship and holding this trophy right here, the most outstanding performer. How does this feel? Well, it feels amazing. I mean, I can't describe you with words how I feel right now. It's so many, a mix of emotions at the moment that uh, it makes us feel really proud of what we just accomplished. Your coach says you were maybe the luckiest recruit that he ever got when you came to the school three years ago. But when you, when you came to DePaul three years ago from Barcelona, did you ever envision you'd be standing at the National Tennis Center a Big East champion? No, never, ever, ever. I mean, I was always, you know, I was kind of like the underdog. Like, I was never expecting to play really high in the, in the lineup or anything like that I was just like you know whatever happens happens but then there I was you know playing number one and now I'm playing all the time as number two or one and playing here at the US Open is such an accomplishment so I'm really proud of it you had a dominant performance in doubles eight to one victory and then you go six one six three in your singles just tell me about your performance today well I mean I mainly just said to myself you know what like I'm just gonna play as hard as I can every single point I'm, I'm really gonna fight every single point all I've got this is the finals like I have to fight for everything so I was really tough mentally I think and that's what got me you know into the game and that's what gave me the advantage I guess in the games um, over the other girl because I was really forceful you know I really wanted to win so yeah you bring a ton of energy, a ton of enthusiasm on the court it's fun to watch out there is that a big part of your game <laughs> yes that's I mean mostly I win my matches because of my like how I fight I fight, I fight, I fight. I I might not have a big serve, I might not have a big forehand, a big backhand, but I am always there. Like my main thing is cheering, is always being positive, always fighting for every point. It's a very Spanish way. I don't know if you know about Nadal, but he's always very forceful and very cheering like that. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know. I think it motivates me. I need to play like that to win. So how excited are you for the opportunity to show your stuff in the NCAA tournament? Oh, I'm really excited. I mean, um, this was something we really wanted. The whole team, like we've been waiting for this moment our whole season since September started. So. Um, you can't imagine like I mean we just we want to just get out on the courts again and just start practicing because we want to do really well at the NCAA so well congratulations enjoy it and good luck thank you again a remarkable run from Xavier ends one step short great weekend though for the Musketeers highlighted by that upset of Marquette on Saturday as for DePaul the top seed they had all the expectations all the pressure they came to Queens and they fulfilled what was expected of them the Blue Demons win their first ever women's tennis championship in the Big East wrapping up an incredible weekend here in Flushing Meadows for BigEast.com I'm Pat O'Keefe